One of the billionaires that's missing on the, on the water from that submarine sh One of the billionaires, their stepson, is at a concert, right? Cardi B going in and popping off on the stepson of British billionaire Hamish Harding. Like, you missing and mother is ready to shake at concert. That's crazy. 37-year-old Brian Saz attended a Blink-182 concert on Tuesday as his stepdad remained missing. One of five passengers aboard a submarine that set out to survey the Titanic shipwreck remains on Sunday before getting lost at sea. Like, isn't it sad that you a whole billionaire and nobody gives a fuck about you? To be fair, Brian did post about his stepfather before the Blink show, explaining to his followers, it might be distasteful being here, but my family would want it. It's my favorite band and music helps me in difficult times. And people is like, um, well, what is he supposed to do? Be sad at the house? Is he supposed to go look for himself? Yes. Brian clapped right back at Cardi, calling her trashy and accusing her of trying to get clout by commenting on the story. Cardi B isn't alone with that take. Brian's feed is flooded with comments criticizing his insensitive move. You supposed to be at the house sad. You supposed to be crying for me. You supposed to be right next to the phone waiting to hear any updates about me. You supposed to be uh, counseling your mom and It seems like this submersible has some elements of MacGyver-y Jerry Rigness. We run the whole thing with this game controller. <laughs> Come on! That's the submersible that's now missing. Brian's stepdad paying upwards of $250,000 for the ride. All to get an up-close view of the 111-year-old Titanic wreckage. The ship is gonna suck us down! And this would be the boat deck up here where everybody would have gathered when they launched the lifeboats. E.T. was with the director of Titanic, the movie, James Cameron, in 1997. He gave us a glimpse of what it was like to go two and a half miles below the surface. And this is what it's like inside the sub cramp conditions. Now, it's been a race against the clock to rescue the tourists inside the missing sub, with just hours of oxygen left for survival. Possible signs of hope. Rescue teams picked up underwater noises in the search zone. I'd rather be broke and poor, but knowing that I'm loved. 